Platinum trophies come in all shapes and sizes. Some are incredibly easy and some, like the ones that will be mentioned today, are insanely difficult. Every Platinum in today's video will be a 10 out of 10 difficulty rating and I, personally, have a few hard Platinums but none quite on the level of these 10 games. Let me know your hardest Platinum and if you have any of the ones on this list, you're an absolute madman. Up first, my name is Me- Nope, I'm just kidding. That's a different list. Street Fighter V. Not only is this game incredibly difficult, but it'll also take you 150 hours to achieve. What makes this game so hard? Well, the game has no shortage of trophies that require immense skill, but the one that might halt your platinum progress is back from hell. For this, you'll have to complete 100 fights in a single life on the hardest difficulty in survival mode. You'll have to be at the top of your game because this will take over an hour. And to top things off, if you disconnect, you'll lose all progress. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus For this Platinum, you're looking at spending around 50 hours with a large amount of those coming from the Mein Lieben trophy, which has you beating the game on the Mein Lieben difficulty. Not only is this mode incredibly hard in general, but you'll need to have constant focus, a precise aim, and nerves of steel. You do not want to be dying right at the end of the game, but if you do die, well, you'll have to restart the whole game again. So be prepared to try and try again. This sounds like absolute torture, and it's no surprise this thing is an ultra rare platinum. Super Me Boy, a game that many people know of for being absolutely brutal. Taking over 100 hours, you'll need to 100% the game, achieve an A plus rank, and if that wasn't hard enough, you'll need to finish all worlds without dying. Keep in mind, this is a game where you'll probably fail every single level hundreds of times before finishing it. So having to do all of them without dying at all, yeah, you can already tell this is going to be insane. So yeah, here we go again with you having to be flawless. And even though I said this could take 100 hours, depending on your skill level, it could easily take you hundreds of hours to actually achieve this. And if you attempt this one, good luck, you're going to need it. Now I'm going to be completely honest, I have no idea how to pronounce this next game, Kaihime Enbu, Ryo Rai Rai, I honestly have probably butchered that, so I do apologise, but it's another one of those games that's going to take hundreds of hours to platinum, a fighting game where you're going to need to be frame perfect to pull off the combos needed to complete the challenger mode and its trophy. For me, a 7 out of 10 is a 10 out of 10 when it comes to fighting games. So yeah, I would have absolutely no chance. I had trouble with Mortal Kombat combos back in the day. So I have nothing but respect for you fight fanatics out there. Like I said before, be ready to be frame perfect and pull off these combos in quick succession. And when I say frame perfect, what I mean by that, the timing has to be exact like completely on point perfect next is another fighting game we've got ultimate marvel versus capcom 3 a game with a platinum rarity of 0.59 which is absolutely insane taking 70 hours it'll ask you to complete 480 missions yeah you heard right 480 with some of them being ridiculously difficult. This is another one of those fighting games that you have to be perfect. I always say one of the genres I'm the worst at is fighting games, but maybe I'm not really as bad as I think. Maybe all fighting games are just stupidly hard. <laughs> Either way, if you've got the Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 Platinum, you are the ultimate fighting god. Doom 2 is an absolute classic and is known for being unforgiving, though it'll possibly only take you around 30 hours to platinum, you'll have no shortage of difficulty to overcome with the when I'm with you trophy, where you'll have to beat every single level on nightmare in co-op, 
meaning not only you, but another person will have to be insanely good to get through this rough ass task. I hope your friendship holds up and as a kick in the teeth, only one of you will actually earn the trophy. Yay, that's a friend for life mate. Oh, and I almost forgot, as an added bonus, it's possible the game could glitch, forcing you to have to delete your save and start all over again. Fun! Now we've all heard those stories about how old games are way more difficult and if you played the Atari Flashback Classics Volume 2, you would probably agree. There's a Volume 1 which is also hard and a Volume 3 which is hard. But Volume 2? Now that one takes the cake. This might be a short one, coming in at only around 20-ish hours. If you're good, that is of course. If you're terrible, it might take you a million years. You're gonna need some serious skill to pull this one off. As the name suggests, this is a collection of classic games that will absolutely test your patience. However, there is actually an exploit making this much easier, but even then it's still pretty hard and you know if even using exploits to do the game it's still difficult, you know you're in for an almost impossible task. Although the trophies don't sound hard, like this one, Red Sunset, just simply get to level 19 in Arcade Missile Command. How hard could that be? Like level 19 in a, in a game? Okay, I can do that. But once you actually start to attempt it, you'll quickly see how and why this Platinum is ultra rare. The next game is another one I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation of, but I'm just going to go for it anyway. Galuga? I have no idea. But this is another game like Doom with a stupidly hard trophies that require not just you, but another player. You might want to bring that friend back from Doom and try this one with him. For the one coin clear trophy, you'll have to finish the game in co-op without using any continues while also having to clear every chapter with an S++ grade. But good luck champs and good luck to you and your mate because if you made it through Doom 2, you might not make it through this one. So we're coming close to the end of the list. Next we've got Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. This is a platinum that only 15 people have actually managed to unlock. But a hardest trophy called Test of the Stairstone, you'll need to complete the game on the unfair difficulty. And when they say unfair, they really aren't joking. It's the usual, you'll take insane damage. Most hits will just kill you instantly. And in this mode, even the basic enemies that otherwise would have been a bit of a pushover are almost like mini bloody bosses. So everything is stupidly deadly. Plus the game is known to crash a lot. So, you know, if you want to torture yourself, give this one a go. And finally, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. One you are all probably expecting if you've seen these kinds of videos. It's known as one of the longest and most difficult Platinums of all time. And we're not just talking about PS4, but just PlayStation in general. With a ridiculous 0.07 completion rate, only 19 people have actually managed to pull this off. It's a game where you can only move in four directions with the rhythm of the music. And going into detail about what getting this platinum involves would take a long ass time. So for now, let's just say for the lowest of the low trophy, you'll need to complete an all character run without picking up any items or using shrines. So what does this actually mean? Well, it means you'll have insanely low health, you'll do no healing, you'll have no upgrades, no spells, pretty much nothing. So you'll basically need to play perfect because there's a good chance just one hit will end the run. Long story short, if you have this Platinum, you're probably a god gamer. And that's all 10 insanely difficult games. I had a lot of fun putting this one together and a lot of these games I had no idea about and a lot of them, if I did know of them, I didn't realise the Platinum was so insane for them. Regardless though, did I miss something off the list? Do you have any of these plats and would you ever actually attempt one? Let me know down in the comments. I've been Mr. Leaning. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on the next video.